Today, we embark on a linguistic journey, tracing the origins of a word so ubiquitous, so commonplace, that its profound global impact is often overlooked. We delve into the roots of a term that has transcended linguistic barriers, becoming a universal signal of agreement, understanding, and acceptance, the word OK. Let us first consider the historical landscape. The word OK emerged in the early 19th century, a period rife with cultural and linguistic innovation, particularly in the United States. This era witnessed a playful engagement with language, where abbreviations and acronyms began to find their way into everyday vernacular. One popular theory suggests that OK originated from a misspelled abbreviation. In the 1830s, it was fashionable in Boston and New York newspapers to use whimsical abbreviations, often incorrect phonetically. It is widely believed that OK evolved from O correct, a deliberate misspelling of all correct. This abbreviation was popularized by the presidential re-election campaign of Martin Van Buren in 1840, who was nicknamed Old Kinderhook after his birthplace in New York. Supporters formed the OK Club, which helped to cement the term in American political and social lexicon. However, the journey of OK does not end there. Its evolution is as complex as it is fascinating. Another theory points to its origins in the Choctaw Native American language. Here, the term OK was used to signify, it is so. This interpretation lends a different perspective, suggesting a multicultural root, reflecting the diverse linguistic landscape of early America. As we consider these theories, we must also delve into the philosophical implications of OK's proliferation. This simple term, comprising just two letters, encapsulates the very essence of human communication, the desire to be understood and to affirm understanding. In its brevity lies its power. It transcends language barriers, embodying a universal symbol of agreement and acknowledgement. OK reflects the dynamic, evolving nature of language, highlighting how colloquialisms can become deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness. Furthermore, OK exemplifies the phenomenon of linguistic economy, the tendency of languages to evolve towards more efficient forms of communication. This efficiency is not just in brevity, but in the versatility and adaptability of the term across various contexts and cultures. In conclusion, the story of OK is more than the tale of a word. It is a narrative about human interaction, cultural exchange, and the ever-evolving nature of language. As we utter this word in our daily lives, let us remember its journey through history, its roots in playful abbreviation and possibly multicultural origins, and its ascent to becoming one of the most recognized terms worldwide. OK is a testament to the simplicity and complexity of human communication, a symbol of our shared desire to connect, understand, and be understood. Thank you.